The connection today is actor Edward G. Robinson. The film is Tight Spot. Ginger Rogers plays a woman who is given a chance to leave jail if she agrees to testify against a mobster whose actions had her thrown in there in the first place. She's taken to a hotel room to hide out until the trial. However, it's evident that the mobster knows where she's located and will stop at nothing to have her killed. Edward G. Robinson plays a DA in charge of the case and puts a guard, played by Brian Keith, in the room to protect her. Soon, Keith and Rogers start to fall for each other. This is a noir directed by Phil Carlson, a man known for bringing gritty to a whole new level when it came to crime pictures. However, many might be disappointed to find out that this is not one of his more graphic pictures. In fact, for a Phil Carlson film, there's hardly any action. The film devotes more time to developing the characters through dialogue, and honestly, I'm more okay with that. I'd rather get to know these characters and understand their motivations rather than just watch some mindless action. There's a really interesting moral battle where Rogers doesn't want to testify, and at first it seems like the predictable argument. We think she's going to say that she doesn't want to testify because it puts her life in danger, and then Robinson will rebuttal by saying she'll be saving more lives in the end and so it's worth it. However, even though that happens, Rogers brings up an interesting point. She doesn't want to testify because it would be helping out a system that had her wrongly imprisoned in the first place. Rogers realized that while in prison, that the system is flawed and there's no guarantee that the mobster will for sure stay behind bars. Why would she help out a system that caused her so much pain and, from her perspective, isn't very good in the first place? It's a little spins like these that keep stale concepts fresh and exciting. I will say, though, there are some parts where they show a fake TV show, and I'm not sure if it was for comedic effect or if it was promoting a soundtrack, but these parts are really hard to stomach. I'd speed through them if I were you, because it's honestly painful. The first time I saw this film, I thought Rogers was really annoying, but on repeated viewings, I realized that she was supposed to be annoying. This was in order to establish her character development. She gets less annoying as the film goes on. And can I really be mad at her if the intention was to be annoying in the first place? Brian Keith is very good as the police officer, but the person who blew me away was Lorne Green. Like many people, I remember him as Ben Cartwright on Bonanza. And even though this was made before Bonanza, he shatters any preconceived notions we had about him. He is threatening and downright diabolical at times. I really couldn't believe that this was the same heroic figure from one of the greatest western shows of all time. Like I said before, this is a Phil Carlson movie, so there are some pretty well done action scenes. But they're executed from a minimalistic perspective. Which I think was the best thing, because the movie is not about the action. It's about the various perspectives people have on what's truly the right thing to do. I personally put this near the top of Phil Carlson's resume when I look at his filmography. It's honestly one of his more interesting films, tackling ideas that might challenge some viewers. Give it a watch and see what you think.